I'm delighted to announce that Paris 2024 will be played on hockey's first carbon zero turf. This is a step change moment. The Paris turf is a result of over five years continuous research and development work and the Olympic hockey turf in Paris will be played on turf which is 80% sugar cane. This turf takes approximately four days to tuft. The good news is this turf is made from sugar cane and sun power. If you laid out all the filaments in one line, it will be about 91,000 kilometers, which is the distance of twice around the world. This is why it's so important to use green technology. The turf includes turf glide. This reduces the friction, which will mean less water is required. You can feel it. It's another reason why this turf is so special. Yeah, we are here at the Hamburger Polo Club, uh, established in 1898. And we are very excited to have the uh, Paris Hockey Turf. I think it's a big advantage for our international players to train on that pitch and also for the German national team. It's great to be here to see some of the top players from Germany and New Zealand out on the turf today having their first hit and their initial feedback has been really positive. This turf is really fast and flat and the hockey is going to be exciting. So nice to have the pitch at the clubhouse once again. The turf is nice, uh, even with less water it's quite fast and yeah, I love it. It's great to have the turf right next to the club and it's really quick and we love the colour. Hockey is a progressive sport. The Olympic Games gives us a chance to demonstrate our innovation when it comes to our contribution to a carbon neutral games. And it's a great step forward since Tokyo to be able to continue to reduce the amount of water that our turfs need. Sustainability is a, one of uh, the huge issues uh, in these days. So it's very important for hockey and also for the club. It's very important for the environment, uh, not only for the club, but also for, for the sport to be progressing. Uh, with screen technology. It is amazing to think we are standing on 80% of sugarcane. It looks really good, the color is beautiful and it feels so good. So it's very satisfying to see it coming to life.